Marco, you spoke about uh, the aid, as he said, the different stages. Now, when it happened, it has happened. We cannot do anything. It is there. And now you need help because you need to communicate, let people know where they can go to, the people know where they can get medical aid, you can find your... Because everybody's looking for their loved ones. And now the information is not going through. The aid that's supposed to cross from the area to another area is not happening. And it seems as if they not handle this well. It's not about handling it well, but I believe one of the things Moroccan failed to understand is that it is a crisis situation and every actor is supposed to be involved. It is not a time for us to show that we are stronger than other nations and that we can manage it. Nobody can manage his own death. Morocco is, I say, is in a mourning mood and has to, uh, the duty to accept condolence messages or condolence assistance from whosoever wishes to make such assistance. Now, when they pride of themselves like they were going to do it, so Algeria can come, uh, France should not come, UK should come, uh, Turkey can come. And at the end of the day, people start asking information. What is going here? We start finding people hanging on trees, others on mountains, are calling for assistance mm -hmm. through satellite images. Satellite images which are not of Moroccan origin. What do you see? It, it means somewhere that the kingdom itself is dragging his policies into mud. Because satellite images from U.S., U.K., and the rest started giving people in desperate valleys, calling for assistance. They were not calling again, but for Moroccan government. They were calling for the world over to assist them. We are dying. We are suffering. We don't know how to leave this place. We don't know how to go. We have been here. There is no water. We don't have this, no food. For two, three days, we haven't eaten. But Morocco painted a picture like they were the he of Africa and that they don't need really from the rest of the world. Before now, even when you look at the first statistics given by government, it was like uh, something which okay. had just about 1,000 dead. Mm. And so we might not go above 1,500. And so now when international aid agencies that they called started arriving, what happened? Statistics start mounting. Started mounting up to today. We are still talking about thousands yeah. are missing, missing. Some souls, in fact, corpses have still been discovered in up rubble. Today, yes. yes, up to now. We see some are rotten and all the like. Yes, that is where I have a problem with nations when... We hide a lot when we keep transparency out of governance because a governance aspect in crisis management is information, accountability on what is going on. Mm -hmm. There is nobody will love that um, an outbreak of measles should kill the whole of Cameroon or polio or whatsoever. But when it comes, we should be open to the rest of the world. We were born on earth. Yes, the day a mother carries, they used to say that a woman carries pregnancy, the child belongs to her. But once a child is born, the child becomes that of the world. That is how diplomacy works. Nobody is an island. I used to tell people, even when we look at the United States, like you just stated, there are towns in the U.S. that have suffered a lot of impact on floods. Yeah. Again, you look at the, the, the domain of fire disaster. Oh. They have never, people have left South Africa to rescue fire in Canada. And just imagine countries of that nature that they will receive firefighters from South Africa to help off fire. Mm -hmm. And now you see a situation. Their people are not dead. Mm -hmm. They are fighting to protect the forest. Yes. And then you meet an African country where we're talking of souls, thousands of souls have been perished. And another person said, no, their agency will be capable of taking care. And such an agency is unable just to give you information. We mean information, statistics of what happened, nothing. Now the pictures you are seeing there, a lot of those satellite images are coming from foreign nations. Mm -hmm. Morocco, I don't know whether they still have a satellite or they depend on the same foreign satellite to give data. So why, on what account were they taking the decisions they took to reserve assistance only from some countries and that they can do it? Mm -hmm. yeah, the first was that they could get food. Mm -hmm. They would discover at the end of the day that the, the aids the did not get to the, get to the yeah. right places. Mm -hmm. Now, when a lot of agencies like the UK, the British came, and we started seeing them going to places that Moroccan authorities could not even penetrate. Mm -hmm. That tells us that the African mindset is still disturbing us. The African mindset is still disturbing us. We have seen in uh, last month or so in China, a lot of people died. But then the government of China was still open 
to give us statistics on what has happened and is telling you that it is worst, one of the worst uh, floods in Chinese history mm -hmm. to have happened. It, it, it want to open it to the world so that people should come equally to their aid. Mm -hmm. When they bring assistance, it's for reconstruction. It's not helping you. Nobody prays that his house should it's collapse. It's not a personal thing. Yeah, it's not somebody personal making. Yes, every nation has its economic policies, policies that goes on economy, politics, and even uh, social. Mm -hmm. But when things happen above the estimate of the government, that is what we need to put over. Yes, some of them claim to have a lot of money. I said nobody has more than enough. The United States is the most indebted country on earth, if people are not aware. And it keeps on borrowing from its own citizens, day in, day out. We are talking in two or three hours' time, the American economy might be shut down. Those who are working in public service may end up not having salary by weekend. So those are the things we are saying. They are now saying to the world, not because they don't love America. It's just to tell the world again that the present management, there is a problem between Republicans and Democrats. Mm -hmm. And so decision will not be passed like that. Biden said, no, they should uh, they disburse money. The, uh, the, 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 the uh, Republicans, Republicans are saying it should not. The world should know. And now you find those who are making international politics tell you that I mean, in America too, they are like that, they are suffering. Eh? So they need a lot of assistance. There's no money in America. Mm -hmm. So when we cry for no salary in Benin, or uh, in Guinea, mm -hmm. where coup d'etats or where in Mali, Guinea, Malians yeah. are dying now. Mm -hmm. Yes, I find a situation like that in Burkina Faso, where the general African economy has been suspended for giving data of what is happening on in the, going on in the country. This, you don't fight information. We have no duty to fight information. Yes, we were told in other nations that information is the tech arm of the government. He who has information has power. It's true information that people know your situation, and that's how people can help. Yes, a problem shared is, is half soft. Mm -hmm. and that is how it happens. If I'm today having a problem and I don't talk to my friend Magum, we drink every day, it becomes a problem. That uh, it should not only be my friend at the bar. So when I have another situation, I decide to stay quiet. And tomorrow, if he gets it from a second mouth, so it is this situation that is going. Morocco has the duty of managing this crisis transparently. Mm -hmm. And that's what I say. Even if we could not prevent it, but it could manage. Crisis are to be managed because we yeah. can't prevent crisis. Yes. A disaster, when it comes out, we need to manage. The response we give to a disaster is what tells a government, whether it is a good government or the worst or a bad government. Mm -hmm. At this particular situation, I believe the Moroccan government committed a very fatal error. Some people might have died because agencies or assistance did not arrive there on, on time. time. Some the people, situation the that would have been handled on yeah. the first or two days, the situation might have gotten worsened, worsened because they are, or worst because they failed to give a response of the nature of the situation of the country. Why not call a foreign satellite to survey the area yeah. and give us job the next day? Yeah. Call a U.S. satellite by state agencies. It's allowed yeah. that please drill us Google map or Google satellite in these areas. Tell us, that, let's see where people are. Mm -hmm. And we should be capable, not like suspending TVs or medias or journalists that are reporting yeah. of the poor management of the internet. crisis. Yeah, threatening and getting internet also. It doesn't, it doesn't help anybody. We need to grow up maturely. And I used to say that when you want to be civilized, behave like civilized men. We cannot be in Africa today with the information well. Maybe he thought we are still in 1980. We're just few. We have state-centric control media. And so only Marrakech could have information, the capital, and others could not have. Now we realize that there were so many outlets, and some people have died, some are still going on that serious yeah. stress, yeah. because still, AIDS have not arrived in those areas. Some people were afraid, because the image that had been given about Morocco, Morocco was already priding himself to be next to Spain, meaning Spain and Morocco are brothers and sisters. Mm. They behave the same, they have the same infrastructure, they have the same world. But it's not the case, we are sorry, that some people still live on mountains. There are still no roads. So they need cable cars to get there. Mm. And that some mountains are not even accessible. So how they were living there is only Moroccan government alone. Those were the type of images they wanted to avoid. But today the world is aware of it. There is no yeah. need putting a picture of your well of which you are not within that well. We need to act and act with you. I said disasters are not planned. But the response we give to them when it happens is what has to do with governance aspect. And presently, this particular part that Morocco was not transparent in the management of data during this crisis makes it a problem. Why should we have satellite images after from foreign satellite and then Moroccan TV was unable to give such data? Then there is a problem with maybe oppression of the press. Definitely. Thank